amen. I know it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears were lost on them lines for us to get the right to vote. Amen. I know the people, their intent was good, but they missed out on one thing they should have been more concerned about. That was getting the Holy Ghost. Amen. A whole lot of people on them picket lines smoking cigarettes and adultery. They know I'm telling you, women with pants on, folks made up looking like a Christian clown, folks drinking, Dr. King, a good civil rights leader, but I can tell you that he was an adulterer, he didn't do no good. God don't recognize, I guarantee God ain't gonna overlook no adultery and say you did no great work with no civil rights. And there was a whole lot of offense and holy, they not saved. They know I'm trying to keep it real with folks. Let me tell you something what the nation got to do today. The nation got to turn back to God. I seen church, they, all of them marching against these homosexual rights. These homosexuals don't bother me. Let them do what they're doing. They're going to hell later. That's right. That's right. I'm going to go run down all these homosexuals. Then I'm sitting up inside a fornicator. That's right. Sit up inside a dosha. Sit up inside a child. Right. What about them? That's right. See, I said, get out and you get the rest of these folks straight now. Ain't nobody in no position hard to get them a dosha. But uh, the folks been right. holding it. That's right. Ain't that right? They talking about, I, I had folks talking about, I might be shacking up. But I think God ain't gay. You stupid. You going to hell. That's right. That's right. You going the same place the rest of them going in there, right? Well, I'm talking, give me a little 13 and what? I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God, all right? Amen. Thank God for the truth. I thank God for the member taking a stand for holy. Amen. Amen. It's going submitting them letters. As y'all know, we got rid of Sunday worship. Amen. Not I believe Sunday worship is so much a sin. But I believe it's a sin. We don't obey God word. He's saying keep it Sabbath. Amen. If you have a son and you saying that's the Sabbath, you're a sinner, because that's a lie. Amen. And no lie, you're going to enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Don't call it the Sabbath. Isn't that right? Amen. Call it what it is. Isn't that right? That's your Sunday morning sermon. Don't call it the Sabbath. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Y'all know I got zero time for a crooked preacher. Amen. I didn't know them right. folks not saved. Amen. So there were no women preacher telling lies. Talking about David having sex with what she was praising God. I said, you're an ignorant preacher. Right. There's no stuff come out your mouth like that. Talking about, yeah, I be lusting after my member. I'm a man. I said, that's the problem. You're a carnal man. That's right. No, man, can't be me. No, I, the shepherd ain't got no business lusting at no sheep. That's right. That's right. Ain't that right? Jesus, I'm the good shepherd. You ain't got no power to keep your mind out lusting out no sheep. You're not in position to lead God's people. That's right. Oh, that's not right. saved. Amen. All up prophetic and speak in tongue and none of them have no power. Where your power at when you get through speaking in tongue? Amen. Don't speak in no tongue, go commit no fornication. Amen. Can't commit to speak in no tongue and go get in no adultery. Amen. You're supposed to get some power when you get the Holy Ghost. Amen. 13 and 1. I'm going to tear that church down. Amen. Church of God in Christ. Some of all of them Jane, Long, All of them know about me. All of them going to hell too. They got to repent for God to get back here. Nothing but a clean preacher, only one gonna be able to stand. I'm not arrogant, I'm not, I'm not stuck, I'm telling the truth. When you're saved, you got some keeping power. Amen. Listen to the book. There were present at that season uh -huh. some that told him of the Galilean, uh -huh. whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Uh -huh. And Jesus answering said unto them, What he said? Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all. That's Galileans. what I'm talking about. Now you, he said, then you just suppose he him sinner were rid of sinner the end of the other sinner. This is what he said. Because they suffered such things. Because they suffer such things. I tell you, nay. He said no. He said, now you go ahead and you believe that these sinners were the worst sinners because they were taking, they were mixing the blood of people with the sacrifice. That was the fire. That's right. And they looked at that and this was an abomination to him. He said, let's just suppose the way you see that they were sinners above all sinners that dwell in Galilee. He said, but I tell you, nay, what did he say? But except ye repent. But except, except the folk that make that blood repent. Except ye repent. What's going to happen? He shall all likewise perish. You going to hell too. That's right. What in the world we look like going here running these sisters down and we sit up here and we got fun to care the folk bad babies out of wedlock in the church. We won't sit in there by them. Amen. I told the folks, some of the mess we got going around the church, a lot of these preachers need they behind me. Amen. Whole lot of these preachers need they behind me. I told him, I said, they're going to talk, Smith, you got to admit it, Smith. You got junk going on in your church. I said, you are lie from hell. Amen. I said, why, Paul? You get me 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. I don't know where they get that stuff from. Yeah. Isn't that right? If you take what the book say, the book will straighten them out. Sure. I told him, I got, I got tiny mess. I don't have no big mess going on here. Because God's word will keep it straight if we keep it in the middle of the road. The problem is now we have put these folks in where the people are running the church now. Sure. God's word ain't got no kings in the church. That's right. Anybody got to wait on me to know whether you believe something of it written right in the Bible. You can believe that. Right. So we got to wait and see what Pastor Smith said, wait and go to hell. That's the Bible. If the book said it right in the Bible, you got to believe. You can't never get yourself caught with no one person because God will work through somebody else. That's right. God will never get himself conformed down to no one man. That's right. God always been bigger than one man. That's right. 
He been bigger than one location. That's why that gospel got me preaching all the world for a witness, and he ain't coming. Amen. First Timothy chapter 3 is verse 15. Amen. Listen to the book. But if I tarry long. He said, but if I tarry long. That thou mayest know. How that what? Thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God. How you get sisters in a choir and on a keyboard? You must say, you ain't, you don't know how to behave yourself. That's right. How do you get these four bad babies out of wetlock? Somebody ain't teaching these four how to behave themselves. Amen. Like anything, I know you're going to have something going to slip around and do some things, but the word of God is going to get them. That's right. It's a difference. That's right. Oh, I told you, they ain't got nothing but a haven for sisters. That's right. Haven for women preaching. That's right. A woman's spirit wrong when she thinks she can lead no congregation. That's right. That's right. I know that I got him hope. We got to move quick. Get me number 2715. That's right. He said that thou man know how to ought to behave ourselves well. In the house of God. What is the church supposed to be? This is the house of God. We ain't got no bit no house of God cussing. We ain't got no bit no house of God telling no lies. Right. We ain't got no bit no house of God sitting around lusting, committing no sexual acts against God. Right. We ain't gonna behave ourselves in the house of God. Yeah. He said it's the pillin' ground of the truth. This is number 2750. Oh, brother, give me Isaiah 3 and 20. I go the way God tells me, I ain't got nothing wrong up. This is the number 2715. Listen to the book. Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, What did Moses say? Let the Lord, Let the, Lord the God of the spirits of all flesh, what he wanted to do, but set a man over the congregation. That's why folk going to hell. That's right. A whole lot of churches going to hell now. He said, Set a who over the congregation? Set a man over the congregation. What, what would be the purpose of setting a man over the congregation, Brother John? Which may go out before them. They may go out before them. And which may go in before which them. Which may go in before them. Which may lead them out. Which may lead them out. And which may bring them in. So that what happened? Congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. Go ahead on and put a woman up now. Get a substitute and go to hell with it. Go ahead on and do like these folks do out here in the natural and get some, some old fake sugar they call equal. It ain't equal because it ain't right. the same thing. Right. That stuff might work with sugar, but it don't go in the church. Right. He told them you don't sell a man over the congregation. He said those folks be just like sheep, don't have no shepherd. Right. Whatever you get outside a man over that congregation, they do not have a shepherd. And if you don't have a shepherd, you are in danger of hell fighting down there. Because God ain't going to speak to no congregation without no preacher. Man. He ain't going to do it. That's right. Romans say you can't heal without a preacher, and the preacher right. can't preach except to be sent. You cannot get a word from God if you don't have God's shepherd. It's not going to happen. If God do it, God going to be a liar. He can't be no liar. Title chapter 1 and verse 2 says, Hosts of eternal life with God that promised that cannot lie. He can't lie. That's right. A woman leading them preachers, I know he's feeling retarded. Yeah. Once again, from TV, internet, radio, wherever our voice can be heard, wherever we can be seen. Before we came on and then come on, we go out. Nothing else is coming on.